newbie reporting for duty with a recently buffed DG58 LSW. And here is what Activision says. They decreased the horizontal recoil by 13%, decreased the vertical recoil by 9%, and increased the minimum damage from 33 to 35, increased the torso, arm, and hand damage multipliers from 1 times, which isn't any multiplier at all, to 1.1 times, which is a 10% increase. And here's their parenthetical note. With the DG58, a four-shot kill is now possible if two shots hit the torso. So let's take a look at the configuration. Let's take a look at the damage and notice off the bat that the Jack Nightshade kit decreases all of the damage numbers. Not to worry, we'll take care of that in a second, but that four shot kill in the lower torso with the 1.1% multiplier is no longer possible, but we're okay with that because have a look at the fire rate, 857.1 rounds per minute. That is blistering. That's a 20 percent increase. Minimum damage range goes up almost 20 percent. Effective damage range goes down 44 percent. And before we cry on our pillows over that, that's 19.1 meters for the effective damage range, which on the small map mosh pit or in free-for-all is forever. Let's take a look at the recoil. It was buffed but the Nightshade's kit hurts it a bit. 40% to 25.61 degrees per second in the gun kick. Still, that's a very low number, and we've compensated with some of the other attachments. Horizontal recoil up 28%, but it's 6.94 degrees per second. Again, it's almost non-existent. Vertical recoil, very controllable at 36, almost 37 degrees per second. Take a look at the mobility that we get with the Jack Knight shades. Movement speed, LMG-ish, but still a quick LMG. Crouch movement speed, Grandpa doesn't crouch. Sprint speed is decent at 5 5.6 meters per second. Tack sprint speed is okay to the good side at 7.1 meters per second. And ADS movement speed is LMG to AR-ish at 2.6 meters per second. The handling is the second place along with the fire rate where the Jack Nightshade shines. ADS speed, a blistering 215 milliseconds. Sprint to fire speed, equally blistering. If there was a word that went beyond blistering, we'd use it here. 140 milliseconds. Let's take a look at the other attachments. We're going to start with the Moore's dot sight. It gives us glass. The extended TP9 butt plate that helps a little bit with that increased recoil and look at the tax stance spread 2.1 degrees per second this thing's going to be spot on in the tax stance i'm not going to use it that way maybe on tax stance saturday i'll try it that way so sprint to fire speed that's part of that composite 140 milliseconds the Varinus steady grip and the reason they call it steady it helps with recoil significantly in the gun kick in a minor way with the horizontal and vertical recoil there are no downsides to this attachment and the 40 round mag yes it hurts mobility handling slightly but at 857.1 rounds per minute this thing is going to be a bullet hose so we'll need the extra 10 rounds it'll come in handy for multi kills let's take this beast onto the field of battle and see how it performs let's get into this I bet you thought old grandpa forget about the kill metrics. No, headshots four at 148 milliseconds. Look at those upper torso slash headshots, 280 milliseconds if you get four shots in the upper torso. Lower torso and upper legs still uh, competitive at 350 milliseconds. So this is a beast. I went into this first match feeling really confident carrying the DG-58, there we go, with the Jack Nightshade. I think they call it Jack Nightshade because it turns out the lights on the, on the enemy. Oh, no, we've only got four players. But you know what? Four players is okay in Team Deathmatch. And look at, look at the hip fire up to ADS. And I eat a thermite. There's somebody laying down behind the chairs. You're supposed to lay on the chairs. There's the wolf man. He's the Elvis, the king. Wolf man is Elvis. 
Like I said, you got to change out. I played this first one with the 30 round mag and found I was changing out the ammunition so much that actually it's the 40 round mag. Sorry about that. I was still changing out a lot. This thing's a bullet hose at 870 rounds per minute. That's why you have the fast times to kill. We're pretty much lighting these guys up. Hip, hip fires again and again down to eight, up to ADS and the aim down sight speed was just lightning fast. That's why you're able to transition from hip fire to aim down sight. Now, how did he know I was over there reloading? That guy, I think he came in, he became the new Elvis a little bit later, but my gosh, he was running lightning fast. I was worried about aftermarket steroids there, but I think he's just probably a good player. I think I'm going to not chow that one anymore. That's all ego there, but that's all gacking. Just a few more gacks to go. Oh, hopefully not gacking me though. You can see that it is, oh, through the proximity mine in the toilet. That's not very good. So, yeah, we did pretty good. The gun did anyway. Decided to take it into a longer map. When I say longer, I mean a bigger map. Rust, I think, is always a good test of just about anything. If you want to go medium map, somebody ADSed. You can see the power of the headshot there with the LSW that, what was it, 46? I don't even know what's going on here. Those guys look like they were exchanging digits or something. But he's trying to gack Grandpa, and he gets Elvis. Here, hold that. Whoa, that was, that was fast. Grandpa's in the middle of the pack to start off with here. There we go from ADS to hip fire. The thing, the sprint to fire is instantaneous. If you put on the the nightshade, like I said, it, it shuts out the light in the eyes of the enemy. Sorry, ma'am. Head to gack you. Go on a little bit of a streak here. This is always a good thing in team deathmatch. We get a remote turret. But we continue to gack. Continue to change out the magazine, too. We got Elvis and that poor guy. Oh, we'll get a fighter pilot. Bring a fighter pilot on the scene. He'll sort things out. Looks like everybody's towards the middle on the other side for the enemy. But they like running through that thing right there. Ooh, ooh I'm out of bullets. <laughs> hey, oh, gosh. What a way to end a streak. They're annoying my turret. I'll put down some protection. And now we're playing gack a mole. We got a turret. We got a VTOL. We have a DG58 LSW with a Jack Nightshade kit. We got a Renetti to send out some love bullets. We stayed on that nine time multi kill for a good long time. I don't think they can go to 10. Maybe that's another software bug. Long shot with a Renetti. We were farming these poor guys. So do I think the Jack Shade Nightshade is worth it on the DG58? Definitely. Definitely. I think this weapon is meta. I don't know if it's the best weapon. That still probably goes to the Bass B, but it's one of the best. Please like and subscribe. Peace.